we're asked to solve for x. And we have this radical equation. 1 is equal to the principal root, or the positive square root of x, divided by 3 minus 2. And the best way to solve these is to just isolate the radical and then square both sides, and then hopefully we'll be able to solve for x. This is a pretty straightforward one, but in general, once you solve for your x, sometimes you get more than one solution. And then you always want to substitute them back in to make sure that they all work. And in other videos, I've actually explained why sometimes you end up with a solution that does not work. But let's just do this. It should be pretty straightforward. So the first thing to do if we want to get rid of this negative 2, we could add 2 to both sides of this equation. Let's add 2 to both sides of this equation. The left hand side becomes 1 plus 2 is 3 is equal to this negative 2 and positive 2 cancel out. So we have the square root of x over 3. Then we can multiply both sides of this equation by 3. Let's multiply both sides by 3. And so we get 9. 9 is equal to the square root of x. 9 is equal to the square root of x. And then we can just take the, we can just square both sides of this equation. We can square both sides of this equation. And if you square both sides of this equation, you get 81 is equal to x. Now we only got one solution here. Let's just try it out. Let's see if it let's make sure that it works for this equation. So let's just evaluate the right hand side with x is equal to 81 and make sure it equals 1. So if we take the square root of 81, that's our x over 3. This is our 81 right there. Minus 2, what is this? Square root of 81, we're taking the principal root, the positive square root. So we're only going to think about the positive square root, which is 9. 9 over 3 minus 2. 9 over 3 is clearly 3. 3 minus 2 is indeed equal to 1. So this is indeed, x equals 81 is indeed the solution for this radical equation.